morning all my crafty friends Nana K here with the with the altar book nook on Etsy and Nana K designs.com um, we're going to go over another journal that we're getting ready to put into the um, the Nana K design shop right here dot com it's not going on Etsy it's going on Nana K designs can't put it on both and I they I just do better on this with my um, physical items so um, be looking for it. Uh, it's you see in this video. Hopefully, I will get it in the um, website just about as quick as we get this video going on YouTube. So, this is the Future Dreams. If you look on my YouTube channel playlist, you'll see a um, small grouping of videos where we put a lot of this book together. We show showed you the kit. This is actually made out of one of my journal kits called Fusion Dreams, um, and um, a lot of projects that you see in here are in the playlist as to how we put those projects together, and they can be used in any with any kit, any journal, doesn't have to be my kits, it can be anybody, so the projects are useful for many reasons. We're actually going to do a complete flip through um, and go over everything that I have got completed in here. Again, there are a lot of pages left for whoever purchases this book. For them to do a lot more work there is a lot of space left i know it looks really chunky but when you put it together there's still a lot of growth space in between these pages so be aware that there's a lot more projects can be put in here and a lot more pockets tags things can be done so this is still a work in progress for whoever purchases it but for the most part it has um the nana k signature on it Okay, let's get started. Again, this was the Fuchsia Dreams book that we put together in the videos. The front cover has a beautiful purple cloth that we got from Hobby Lobby. It's, it's purple with gold flecks through it. Um, it is a three, I think it's a three or three and a half inch spine. Let's take a look and see what it is. Yeah, it's, it's a three and a half, almost a four inch spine here. It has two signatures, one, two. And this book was one of the main reasons I've gone to three signatures. I just think three signatures, the book would have been the same size. It's just that each signature would not have been quite as chunky. So I've gone to three signatures when I'm doing um, my kits now. On that way, that's how I'm designing them. Um, also, it has um, beautiful paper flowers, and then I made some lace doilies that goes in behind those. On the spine, it has the same flowers with the same lace that the doilies are made out of. Uh, it also has a cancer ribbon on the side here, and I did this ribbon in honor of my neighbor who passed away while we were doing this, um, doing this journal. And I miss her very much. We were very good friends. We had cancer together, and we thought we had beat it. But unfortunately, my Angie's came back, and, and it finally took her, took her away from us. Also, we've got um, my stitchums, one of my stitchum strips here that was introduced in this journal, and then this beautiful um, fuchsia material here that's got little fuchsia sequins on them. It is really cute. The back, you can see more of the cloth on the back than you could on the front with the same lace. And it is completely cloth bound and it does have, um, has this binding right here under, underneath. So it gives you a, a little bit of a soft texture even though it's a hardback book. Okay, on the front also we have one of my hidden pockets right here. So that, that design was, um, I think we have a video on it. If we don't, um, you can request one and we'll make one on either the Christmas journal we're working on or the Sunday Sunflower Day um, end of summer journal we're working on. Okay, we're going to go inside, starting here. Um, we use the fabric right across here and then I just put a beautiful fuchsia, heavy, it's a really heavy cardstock here. Um, I can really see uh, furtherance of a triangle 
or diagonal pocket right here or just a regular pocket something else can be added here not a problem we'll leave it just like it is it can also just be decorated and then um, we'll start with the first signature <clears throat> um, one of the things about my books that I personally do is every single one of my pages will have a stitching across here and most of the time they're going to have these little corner tabs on them okay this is part of the signature um, that you buy in the kit the signature pages flipping over we have one of my background pages here again all stitchings there fancy pocket made with um a die cut from heartfelt creations that's in the video of this being made me and a journal card with the fancy stitching on it back for writing from your writing space there again we have another we have a page that um these two pages you can decorate there's a lot of these pages left where something can be put in here uh, I, I would suggest flat pockets and things if you're going to add to it, but they, they still can be added to but lots and lots of writing space. This particular page has a lace um, trim added to it. This is a coffee dyed paper on this side. This is not in the kit. This is something you would have to make yourself. And then we stenciled it, stitching down the side. This was one of our projects, so you can look it up inside of the... Um, playlist I think we have two of these one in each signature so anyway there's um, tags here cute tags this was the book I introduced my little gnomes I put the gnomes in I've, I've introduced gnomes into this book since it's such a fancy little garden book but lots of tags lots of journal cards I used as flat of um, ribbon as I possibly could. So um, in some of them, I show you how I tie mine without making them so extra bulky. Moving on, we've got another page that's in the kit with the stitching and the corner tabs. The gingham. More journal pages. This was another project we did. Pocket here. Pocket here. And of course, there's a back pocket here. Another coffee stained paper. Another paper with lace added to it. And this gives us a just really pretty look along the edge, outside edge. Lots of space, writing space, lots of space left to put pockets and whatever you might want to put in this journal. Another lacy page. That's our, this is the center of our first signature and this is our um, center fold. We just did a video on how to make this in the sunny sunflower day. So you won't see the training video on this one in um, Future Dreams playlist. It's in the sunny sunflower days. The playlist on doing this one. It's our centerfold flip out. So look for it. I'm not sure exactly what it's named, but you, you, it won't be hard to find. We use stitches in here. Um, we decorated up our tags. Really cute here. A lot of fancy cutting was done in this particular journal. I used a lot of beautiful um, punches that had really pretty intricate cuts. Lots of lace and lots of stitches are in this book. Okay, moving on. Another project we did. Got a little booklet here. Lots of writing space here. A pocket here, pocket here. That folds out. Pocket there. Lots of pockets. That was another flip up there. And there's a pocket in the background with a card, a tag. This is our window with an oval. This has an oval window in it. And a card that pulls out. Fancy corners cut on this particular card. A really pretty, pretty, this has a really pretty shiny lace in it off on the edges here. And it opens up to a pocket here. 
with the card, German card. Little tiny teeny pocket and tag here. This was kind of a asymmetrical design here. Glued down three places with a beautiful oval tag behind it. This would make a beautiful gift for somebody for the holidays. Especially somebody that might be just getting into German. They would love this. This has got stitchings on it. I actually put stitchings on this. This is actually not sewn on. This is where we trimmed out the stitchings a little closer on that edge. And then the same thing here. We cut the stitchings out here. A little piece of doily here. Just some little cute things added. This is a double pocket on the page. It's got two pockets. These were made out of the um, recipe cards. So if you want to know how to use up your old recipe cards, that's how we did ours. And go look up the video and follow through. This is one of my strange odd shaped tags. I do a lot of those. And then two journal cards with dingle. This one has a dingle dangle on it, and this one just has decorations. Okay, more lace, more coffee stain pages, lots and lots of space to write. There's another one of our uh, journal uh, pages with a gnome. This is a stencil copy dyed paper, more lace paper, and we are at the end of signature one. We're going to enter signature two here. It's a big pocket here. I probably have a journal card somewhere I need to stuff in there, but this is again made with the um, cutout from um, Heart Pelt Creations, and I don't know if they still have these. I, I've got a message recently that they were going to be closing. I'm not sure if they have yet. But if you miss getting this and they still got them, I would suggest you get those beautiful um, dies that they have. They may have them on sale. Another one of our cute little gnomes. Lace paper, coffee dyed paper. Again, another one of our projects. This is a different way we folded it. Same type of project, but just folded a different way. That's the one great thing about a lot of my projects. You can fold them different ways and get a different look. So this is all it stretches out like this, and then you've got cards and hidden spots on both sides of that one. Lots and lots of tags. This was a hand painted. I, I die cut this with a machine, and then I hand painted the flower. I do that periodically. I don't get a chance to do it as often. One of our gnomes on a tag. And this is one of my fancy tags. Just a simple pocket, which is what really the remainder of this book can have. It's, it's just simple, flat pockets. Of course, you can add, the, the pages are of a high quality brochure paper and you can add photos and then write. There's a lot of photo space if you're still wanting to do photos. Scrapbooking, some people call it. It's still a lot of space there. Here's another window pocket added to the design. Well, I, uh, sorry, I'm scratching a little bit of glue I saw on my cell phone. I don't like my windows to get glue on them, that, but that was nice and clear. Lots of lace in this book. Lots and lots of lace and lots and lots of doilies. That's a simple, that's probably one of your most simple pockets right here. And then I put cards in it with, with this one's got stitchings on it also. And then this one's just got two little tags we made. It's kind of a diagonal. We used the doily to make a beautiful pocket here. Simple. Yeah, it just makes such a difference to the way your um, pockets and pages look. More lace. Lots, again, lots and lots of writing space. Here's a belly band with cards added. It's a flip-up pocket design right here. There's a pocket there. There's a pocket and a card that slides out right 
Let me pull it down a little. Cop pocket slides out right there, a card. And when it's in place, it's really decorative. You really, the button kind of slides into the thumb notch and then the lace just kind of sits on the side there. And then there's a pocket here. And of course, this has stitches on. This is the, um, this is where we introduce the stitches. Lots of little lace pieces here and there, just to decorate it up some. Push that in because it is poking into my page there. Okay. Now we're to the center of this one, and all we did here was just a, we made double pockets for the center fold of the second signature with large tags. Still a lot of space here to decorate or write, but there can be some decorations here. You can tie, um, charms onto the end of the strings and add to the book that would be so cute okay going on page page window flip and blow with the writing space inside i started to say there's a pocket behind it but there's not that's only a single pocket there going on just beautiful decorative pages this is that same project that was towards on the first signature uh, beautiful this is one of our most beautiful um journal pages in the future drinks and me i love the pearls that are outlining this page okay i like the stenciling we did on the um coffee stain it is so cute to me one of my preferences a lantern design on this journal page and that's the end of the book we're back to our last gnome and again the back page Cover can actually have a pocket added here to give you more um, storage space. Let's get back in and flip that back down. So that, my friends, is the Fuchsia Dreams flip through um, that we are having. And this is going into, again, it is going into the NanaKDesigns.com shop. Um, uh, and it's going on sale for the Christmas holidays. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will visit my site. Please subscribe and like and help us boost our, um, our views. That would be wonderful. And I hope you have a great day. I'll be back with a project for two of our journals that we are working on. Now, in case, saying bye-bye. See you soon.